Geekers, welcome back to Supercar Street Racing, and I hear something outside a minute ago, and I see this. We have a box here from Amazon, everybody. Can't wait to see what's in it. Welcome back to the channel, Supercar Street Racing here, and we have a box that I've been waiting for for about a week. Came in, and let's not cut it too deep, but I think we might have some goodies right here to take a look at for the cart. Maybe. Let's see what's in here. So hard to do with one hand. I really need a third hand for video. All right, hopefully we didn't slice whatever was in here. Aha, we got our extreme mats in finally. I am so hyped for this. I'm gonna get this out and I'll be right back. this awesome packaging and inside we have the extreme mat for the club car precedent and check it out it came with these little clips here and a little installation guide to help you install your extreme mats and so if you take this off and we open up this install guide shows you that you have some clips that come with it to install it and here's a club car precedent so it looks to me like this would be towards the front but not sure um, it, I don't have anything in there to clip it to so oh, okay so they have these they have this instruction here with the nice illustration to show you and for, it says for, let's see, precedent, 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 precedent. Installation on the following maze, precedent armor tempo. It works by extreme match to the OEM flooring under the dash. The long arm of the clip goes underneath the factory flooring and the small hooks over the trim. I don't have the factory flooring, um, so yeah, so we're not gonna hook this to anything, I don't think, but with an aftermarket dash, loosen the screws, Okay, so basically what it's saying here is to test it out and see if your dash will cover it. It says you'll not need to install the extreme clip if your dashboard covers the top part of the mat. So we'll see, we'll go out there, my dashboard is not secure, but we will take this outside and see if we can fit this extreme mat to the club car. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to install an extreme mat golf cart mat in a club car precedent, tempo, or onward. The mat fits all three the same uh, with a standard dash. We do show instructions on how to install with an aftermarket dash, but today is going to be all standard. And we'll also show you how to install the clip. We suggest you use the clip. Uh, we know some might not, 
but uh, stay tuned and we'll show you how to install the mat and get moving. So first thing, we're gonna install this clip underneath the dashboard. Uh, that's gonna hold the Extreme Mat golf cart mat. So pull back the OEM mat, tuck your fingers underneath the dash a little, and you can slide this clip up under the factory dashboard. Put the mat back, and then you can put in the Extreme Mat. So go over top of the pedals first, it'll make it easier. Slide it back against the base of the seat. You can then tuck the left side up behind the cup holders. The middle underneath the clip, which will be a little tight. And then the right side just goes underneath these cup holders as well. Other than that, you're good to go. Out here in my garage, I've got this extreme mat here, and as you can see here, we have one bundle of wiring that runs through the, the uh, floorboard there. We've got another one here, but you know, there's no place to put wires inside the dash. So I gotta run speaker wires down through that right there and get it to the back. But let's get this mat out and see exactly what we can do with it and see what we're going to be dealing with. Chances are, it will have to tuck under, but the dash is not secure yet, so there's really nothing to clip it to. We're gonna go ahead and unpackage this amazing extreme mat, which came in this lovely extreme mat condom. And this thing is very high quality and heavy. I can tell you right now, this is probably five times heavier than the factory mat. And it literally just fits into the cart like so. Oh wow, so cool. Yeah, so this might have to go up underneath the dash, it looks like. So it goes around the pedals. Like that. And then underneath the dash. For, for right now, I'm just gonna leave it on top. Wow, it fits good. It's a bummer it doesn't cover these screw holes in my side skirts that were drilled in by an idiot. That sucks. I got little screw holes right here that uh, somebody decided it was smart to screw into these to put those metal side skirts in. So looks like I need side skirts. I guess I got to get those ordered because this doesn't cover it. But wow, check out that mat. Okay guys, let's go over the fit and finish of this extreme mat and look at the way that this thing goes in. Now this looks like it would work either on top of or underneath this dash, but probably looks better tucked. Um, we could probably tuck it under there if we want to. Um, but for now, since the dash is not secure, you can see here it fits perfectly around the edges. It's a bummer that it misses the screw holes by just a fraction of an inch, but look at the fit around the edge there. It seems to be pretty perfect. It fits exactly around here. Not sure why they have this little bulged out thing right here rather than just a straight up hole, but this is probably, I don't know, 50 times better than the stock mat as far as the looks go. And I think that this is a good choice. And I did get gray because of the carbon fiber. Um, I just noticed here we need to take the sticker off. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so I got the ugly sticker off. And of course we got traffic coming by, but here's another good look at the fit and finish of the extreme mat with black with uh, the, it has actually the gray stripe. Now the only thing I see that is going to be a problem is right here. Not sure why I see everything here. I'll probably have to fabricate some kind of cover for this that goes under here like a black cover because I can see the actual or just get um, tubing, plastic tubing to cover my wiring. 
because I think the factory mat would hide this, but I don't have the factory mat and I don't really want to put it on there. But everything else looks amazing on this thing. And now let's go take a look at your options when you order the extreme mat. Hey guys, Supercar Street Racing here, and we are back in front of the computer here, and you can see, we're taking a look at the Club Car Extreme Mat right here. For the Precedent Onward Tempo Villager V4L, and I think it fits the Yamahas as well. Um, it actually has come down in price a little bit, so I paid a little bit more for that, I think. Um, but yeah, so we're looking at this, it tells you about the quality and stuff designed in the USA and you can actually give these guys a call if you have any questions about the extreme map. But let's take a look at the video here. There is the mat. Looks pretty good. We'll put that in the video uh, also. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install an extreme mat. Pretty easy to install. You don't really need a video. Um, it shows you here which ones it fits. And then right here, it's got a lot of the details about the mat. So um, super rugged, laser measured. It's got optional trims. It's got a horn hole, a uh, place where you can trim the horn hole if you need it. And then look right here at the factory mat compared to this nice extreme mat right here. The difference is actually night and day. Look at it installed here. You could see on my cart, it really does make a huge difference on the cart as far as the quality of the floorboard looks much more expensive. See here, it fits right around the precedent uh, stop go pedals, no problem. That's actually the exact mat that I have right there. Now here's some of the different trim colors you can get. I have the gray. I really like it. I almost got another color, but I thought that that would look good with the carbon fiber dash and steering wheel kit. Now right here they have 393 ratings and they are at a solid 4.8, which is almost unheard of on Amazon. Only way to get a solid 4.8 is to bribe and lie and pay people to give you reviews but these guys are legit with their extreme mat and here's some other good pictures of it looks like they started in 2013 they got a 33,000 33, square foot warehouse and they are pre-cut laser cut and you can see here how good that looks in the cart and definitely much higher quality than the factory mat here. You can see your extreme mat here fitting perfectly. The only thing I don't have is something to cover the wires right here where they go up into the dash. And really, honestly, that's kind of a manufacturer problem that they made the wiring go under the dash, under the mat and then up through exposed to under the dash because honestly, you could go under the cart with no problem. These are full coverage mats. They are a one piece design and they are have like a diamond cut. If you get wet, it's supposed to channel the water away. They're measured with a laser. So that means they cut them very specifically. They're super thick. You can tell that when you pick it up, they probably weigh a good 15 pounds and they fit all these models here. And then down here, we have the reviews, the questions and answers. Take a look at those. There's 38 questions and answers here. And then some really good reviews with pictures like this one, which is exactly the one I have. And you really don't need to clip it in. It's going to be fine. I'm going to, I don't know whether, I think I'm going to put mine under the dash. That makes more sense. It looks cleaner. Um, but you can see here with the factory dash, I think that is, um, it fits right under the dash. But my dash is lower, so I'll probably have to go under the dash, tuck it under, and then use that but so far so good with the extreme mats I'm gonna actually get in touch with the company and see if they want to work with me on some different types of uh, cart installs I have neighbors who have other types of carts maybe we can get them to sponsor or do something but re really really appreciate the uh, high quality on the cart and I, it is cheaper than what I paid I'm pretty sure so go ahead and get yourself 
an extreme mat if you've been thinking about it or you are on the fence this guy right here take a look at the different colors we didn't go over that but look at the blue there's the blue here is the all black most people I bet don't order all black but like we already looked at the blue here's the green if you want to be bold do yourself a green one with the green trim and be like an Audi RS3 and then you've got the good looking red which pretty much will go with black or anything else which I could have done that as well I did not I opted for the gray to match the carbon fiber on my dash and steering wheel I'm gonna go ahead and say that the extreme mat is a good purchase and I would recommend it I will throw their video up here after this so you guys can take a look i'm supercar street racing i hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time